with Storm Team meteorologist Michael Haynes on weather a little closer to home. Michael, hopefully nothing like that happening today. That's right, Jen. We can't even buy a drop of rain about around here. We're just plain old hot and steamy as we look live together from the BJCC over downtown Birmingham. We have temperatures still holding in the mid and upper 70s all across the central Alabama. So it's a different day, but really the same story. You have to go all the way down to, off the coast of Florida before we find any type of, of rainfall. But things will gradually change around here over the coming days. But still for this afternoon, very hot in the upper 90s, close to 100 degrees with heat index values between 105 5 uh, to 110. So for the football games going on, of course, today, Jacksonville State playing uh, their home opener against an, in a new conference and a new division. The kickoff temperature there in Jacksonville, though, in the upper 90s to near 100 degrees in Calhoun County, and it's going to feel well over 100. So just take it easy the best you possibly can. Uh, that's the reason we have a heat advisory uh, in effect here for the rest of this, really the rest of the weekend, but especially for today, uh, all of central Alabama. But at least the excessive heat warning that's been allowed to expire and push back to the west of us. That's the first hint that things are changing, but you'll still have to deal with these peak heat index values this afternoon between 105 to 110. So this is our future cast for today. A couple of rogue showers possible, but the chance for any given spot to get wet today very low. Then during the day Sunday, we'll have kind of the isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms, and that's really the sign that things are breaking down as far as this a really hot pattern. So tomorrow will be the first time in a while that we'll have the opportunity to get wet briefly. Then the temperatures will begin trending back down, heading into next week seasonably hot levels uh, with highs in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Now the tropics also heating up. We're tracking this area that will continue to move through the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico into next week. There is a high end chance uh, that this will develop into a tropical depression, if not a tropical storm. Uh, as of right now, this will kind of push on through the Caribbean through Sunday and then heading into the first part of the week. This will make a turn up to the north and the northeast. At least that's the current projection and that would impact of Florida, but still spending some moisture our way uh, by Wednesday day into the middle part of the week. Now there's still time for that exact track to change. Bottom line, something we'll have to monitor very closely. Jen. Your time right now, 5